Hey guys, this is Theo, and welcome back to Lesson 4 here on Free Code Camp Responsive Web Design Certification. Um, we are under CSS Flexbox, Lesson 4, last lesson. This will be a real quick one, just two lessons. So, uh, first one is use the order property to rearrange items. So, you can actually give orders to each element that um, uh, uses this interface of Flex to sort of determine the order, um, as it says. And so, the box one element should have an order property set to value of 2. So say order two, all right? So we can see that it switched, right? And if we give it whatever, you can see if you give it one, then so box one, right? It's daughter blue two, and it's not going to move there necessarily because there's no order for box two. But if we give box two order two, we can see them switch. So now we'll change this. We'll say order two, and we'll go ahead and run these tests. Good to go, and. This last one here on CSS Flexbox is using the align self property. It allows you to adjust each item's element individually instead of setting them all at once. So this is useful since other common adjustments using the CSS properties float, clear, and vertical align do not work on flex items. Align self accepts the same value as align items and will override any value. So add the CSS property align self to both box one and box two. So we'll say align self. And we give it a value of center. We want it to be in the center. And so what we can do here is write align self and we'll say flex end and this should be at the very end. All right. So again, this is the end of this container. So if we look at this, we can sort of see why it's down here at the bottom. So again, this is um, each alignment individually instead of setting them all at once. Cool. Um, so this would be, this, this would be like doing, um, line self center and line self flex end. This would be like doing, uh, align items. I think it would be flex end, right? It would be like doing that. So align self. So that's it for this video guys. Um, let me just go ahead and run this test. Good to go. Uh, so our next series, our next a series of videos will be introduction to the CSS grid challenges. I actually haven't used CSS grid myself, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then finally, we'll be getting into some more of the meaty stuff with responsive web design certifications. And these will be longer videos, I'm guessing probably 20, 30 minutes each, maybe, maybe 15, 20, because these aren't, this is more just HTML, CSS. And then we'll start up with the JavaScript algorithms and data structure certification, which I'm pretty, pretty excited for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to look in the description box for the links to free code camp or to um, Udemy courses that I recommend. Um, great if you want to learn React JavaScript. I do get a cut. If you're interested, go ahead and check them out. Uh, so yeah, guys. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.